Fitty friends and welcome back. It has finally stopped raining like crazy here in East Tennessee, so we're finally gonna be able to go on our picnic. We're not gonna go tonight though because tonight we're just going to do the prep work. We're actually going to go to a state park tomorrow and bring our dogs along with us. Now, as far as a picnic goes, I try to keep it very, very simple so I don't stress myself out trying to make a picnic and then not be able to enjoy it because I'm so tired from having put so much work and effort into it. We have a few favorites that we usually tend to stick to, such as fried chicken, because with fried chicken, it's okay to eat it cold and it's a nice protein. We also like to do like potato salad and deviled eggs, mostly because my parents have chickens and I can get all the eggs that I want for free. I also am going to slice up some fresh cucumber and tomatoes and take a veggie dip because I have tons of cucumbers and tomatoes in my garden that are coming ripe right now. And really, I think for myself, that's the whole point of a picnic basket, to use what you have on hand, use what is affordable, and if at all possible, things that you already are getting, such if you have a garden or if you're lucky enough to know someone who has a chicken coop. So if that means that you take sandwiches and chips, then by all means do so. A picnic basket should not be overly complicated and stressful. Or what would be the worst case scenario is if you just cancel the picnic because you don't think you have anything that you can bring. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the chicken ready so that Mitch can be frying that while I'm making the other ingredients. And the chicken could not be easier. I just take chicken breast or chicken tenders, cut them into little pieces, and then dredge them in flour and seasoning salt fry it up, you're done. We'll have Mitch do that, we'll tackle the rest of it, so let's go ahead and get this started. And like I said, the chicken could not be easier. I just take some chicken breast and cut it up into little bite-sized pieces, which I will then dredge in all-purpose flour sprinkled with seasoned salt. I try to make only what we'll eat at the picnic and maybe a little bit more just so I don't have a lot of leftovers I need to keep in the cooler in the car. I then fry them in my cast iron skillet in a little bit of oil and that's it. It's easy and one of our favorites. And while Mitch was frying our chicken, I went ahead and got started on our potato salad. I try to keep that very simple also. I base my potato salad on a Betty Crocker recipe, which includes potatoes, mayonnaise, white or cider vinegar, yellow mustard, salt, pepper, celery, and onion, and also hard-cooked eggs. However, I don't actually stick to the measurements of the recipe. We believe that each ingredient to a potato salad is completely subjective and should therefore be done entirely to your taste. So I say have fun with it, experiment, and just see what you like. I throw it all together in a big bowl and just keep taste testing until I like it. As for the deviled eggs, I also keep this very simple and base it on yet another Betty Crocker recipe. It's basically just mayonnaise, mustard, salt, and pepper. However, I have been known to throw in some pickle relish. So again, I think deviled eggs are the same as potato salad. The ingredients are subjective and you should put in exactly what you like. However, I do like to keep up one tradition of sprinkling it with paprika after I've got them all stuffed. So there you have it. We have our potato salad, our chicken, and our deviled eggs. I went ahead and put them in the containers that I'm going to use in the picnic basket. That way it just kind of protects it from the ice packs so you're not contaminating. And like I said, this was a simple and very budget friendly picnic to kind of throw together, especially if you're someone like me who's coming home from work and kind of needing to do something fast. 
but tomorrow we're going to show you how we pack this up because I'm actually going to wait until tomorrow to slice up my cucumbers and tomatoes. That way we can keep them fresher for as long as possible. I'll show you how we throw that together and we're going to take you on a trip to our favorite state park. So we'll see you then. Hey guys, so it's the next day. We're going to put this picnic basket together and then head on out. Um, you may actually hear my dogs trotting around. They're extremely excited because they absolutely love going to the park. So first off, I've pretty much got everything laid out that I'm going to take. I've got my ice packs. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the bottom of my picnic basket here. I like to put a towel over them uh, just in case. It kind of absorbs some of the water if they kind of, you know, start to melt. So I've got all my Tupperwares. As you can see here, I added the fresh sliced tomatoes and cucumbers with some veggie dip. This all came from our garden. So this is fresh and ready to go. I also put a little bit of barbecue sauce into this container. This is just for the chicken for our dipping sauce. And if you want a kind of a neat little tip, and I'm sure most of you do this already, these Chick-fil-A to-go containers are awesome. I just rewash them and use them for like picnics like this for our condiments, and they're absolutely the perfect size. I use a reusable tote to put all of our things that don't need to go into like a cooler type situation. So we've got our chips for a bit of crunch. We really like these all dressed uh, Canadian chips from Ruffles, they're really good. I've got paper towels just in case things get a little bit messy. And since, you know, millennials are supposed to be killing the napkin industry, I decided to stay on trend and just stick with my paper towels. I also have our bag of salt and pepper and our tablecloth and that kind of thing. I'll also be using, I actually like to use malamine plates instead of just like disposable plates. That way I can just go ahead and bring them back home, wash them, and I'm not like, you know, creating more trash at, for our picnic. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all ready and then we are gonna take off and we're gonna go. Hey guys, okay, so we're just fixing to start our picnic, but first we have a little bit of a challenge that we're gonna do. So we haven't had soda in a long time, either one of us. And for Coke and Pepsi, it's actually been even longer. So in Pepsi fact, a really long time. Yeah, like I don't even think I've had a Pepsi since I was a kid. And that's been like, well, I won't say how long that's been. So anyway. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So anyway, I specifically remember Coke being really acid and tart and kind of like bitter. And I remember Pepsi being really sweet and smooth. Mitch, actually, you remember said, the opposite. Yeah, the exact opposite. I think I always thought Coke was smoother, and the Pepsi was a little bit like left a harder taste in your mouth. No, well, I mean, I don't know, but we'll <laughs> so we discussed this at length because <laughs> each one of us thinks the other is wrong, as usual. Yeah. So, <laughs> in the interest of an experiment, we decided to go get one Coke and one Pepsi. We're going to try it for the first time in years and see which childhood memory is the correct one. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah start let's with start with Coke first. Coke first. Yeah. All right. Now, this is the one I think is bitter and acid. And I think And you think smooth. it's sweet and smooth. Okay. You want to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Yeah. Add some bitter. I mean, it's sweet, but it's just really acidy. Okay, I'll admit. <laughs> it's a little harder than I remember. Okay. But I still think it's smoother than the Pepsi I remember. Okay, okay. So. Wait, you want palate cleanse? Yes. Well, yeah, we got the water just so we can do this correctly. Since this is kind of a scientific experiment, maybe. Need to get a survey. Comments on the videos. Let us know what you guys think. Oh, yeah, there you go. In the comment down below, which one do you think is sweeter or more acid? Okay, so number two, we have a regular... Oh, and by the way, these are just regular Pepsi and Coke. No Zeros special... Or... Yeah, nothing special. Just good old corn syrup soda. Okay. Mmm. Oh yeah, now that is smooth. I think it's harder. I don't think it's as smooth as the Coke. Are you, really? My teeth hurt more. Well, that might be the sugar, not the acid. They, okay, now here's another thing too. I actually think Coke is more carbonated. I, I, think, I think Coke is less carbonated. <laughs> what? Are How are we doing this? That is so less carbonated and so more smooth. I think it's more carbonated. No, this is now okay. I will admit on one thing. I don't think it's as sweet as I remember it. I will say that. I think I I'm, think I think Coke is sweeter. It's so. It, don't get me wrong. It's very very close. That is so. It's very very close. That is so smooth. I wish oh. I had like. Bubbles per can or something. Like yeah, how much no. Carbonation it had. Oh, oh, let's look at the sugar. Okay, let's be really okay. We'll try to be more scientific here. We didn't even look at the sugar. Except they're each based on one can, and this can. Oh, that's is 16 right. Ounces. See, I couldn't actually find at the groceries or at the gas station we stopped at. Didn't have a smaller can of Coke. Oh no. Okay, so, so see, I've already screwed up this scientific experiment. Well, we can do the math. Like one well, can. He can do the math. Um, so anyway, we just looked it up and a can of Coke this size has 39 grams of sugar. This has 41. So, I mean, technically I was correct in remembering it being sweeter. There are two grams because of it sugar literally per can is. extra and, in the Pepsi. But and I, I remembered that. I still think it's more carbonated. No, 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 okay. <laughs> I don't know how to test All right. for that. <laughs> you guys, you guys are gonna have to fix this for us. <laughs> Post your comments. Let us know which one's right. Yeah, which one which? is okay. Which one is sweeter and more smooth? Is it Pepsi or is it Coke? I'm on Team Coke, or no, you're on Team Coke. <laughs> yeah. So Coke is sweeter and more Mi smooth. Mitch is Team Coke. I'm Team Pepsi. 
Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that we prefer one over the other. This is just based on what we remember each one tasting like. So anyway, there you go. There's a challenge for you in the comment section. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. And sadly, we really thought we would resolve this right now and we didn't. So we're gonna- You guys don't have to fix it. We're just gonna have to rely on you guys to resolve it for us. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and eat and then we're gonna take you on our favorite trail and take our dog swimming. We'll see you then. So that was our day at the park. We're actually going to spend a few more minutes and let her swim a little bit more, but we'll probably pull her out here in a little bit because she gets easily waterlogged and she doesn't know when to quit. So anyway, we really hope that you enjoyed the picnic and just remember, just keep it simple and have fun with it. Really the whole point of a picnic is just to go outside, relax and have a little bit of fun. And I think that's kind of what we all need a little bit right now. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's my advice. Go on a picnic. Go outside and just have fun. So thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time because starting next week, 
we're going to be doing a burger challenge. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do four different burgers this month and we'll see which one can beat the best burger me and you have ever had in our lives. Okay. And we will reveal that next time. Okay. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for future videos. In the meantime, here are two videos you may enjoy. Thanks for watching. I think that went good. Oop, I didn't. Still didn't stop. Still didn't stop. Still didn't stop. Oh my god. Still didn't stop. Are you kidding? What are you doing? What did you do? I think it's broke. <laughs> Pause work? Is it really? It's not pausing. You broke my phone. No, I 